Welcome to this week's ECPW Adrenaline. My name is Big Mike Lawrence. Join at the broadcast table as always with Joey G. And Big Mike, Timothy Plasma's coming out, but this is the week that all the wrestling world has been waiting for, and you know why. Gino Caruso against Doug DeVito for ownership of this company in a no-holds-barred, no-disqualification match. But, Mike, what does DeVito have up his sleeve? I don't know. I, I think last week when he made that big announcement, I, I think he was stacking the deck against Gino Caruso. But I got to tell you, Gino... An over 20-year veteran of this business, I'm sure he's, he's in his time, has had many of a no disqualification, no holds barred matchups. And how many has Doug have? <laughs> how many matches has he had? Not many, not many. I remember him being in a tuxedo match where he lost his pants. Oh. From Fairfield, New Jersey, Pride of Fairfield, New Jersey, Eric Andretti. And he's facing one half of the current tag team champions this week, Timothy Plasma. I heard Plasma weighed in this week, Joey G. Joey, what's up, baby? At 166 pints of blood. <laughs> Look at Timothy Plasma looking at Eric Andretti. I think he's put on one or two pints. You know, again, we haven't seen Crowbar in the last few months. And I don't know what's happening. Uh, Is there any time limit on, on how long the tag team champions have to defend their titles? Well, you got to ask your general manager, Mr. DeVito. I ain't asking him nothing. I wouldn't even ask him where the bathroom was if I had you know what. I don't think he knows. Well, Plasma... Uh, Sliding into the ring. Now, I could have sworn I saw Timothy Plasma on that show, True Blood, but maybe it was somebody that looked like him. Yeah, I think you were mistaken on that one, Joey G. And again, I did not think vampires had beards, but I guess they do. Well, any hair that he should have on the top of his head is on his face. What good that does in a wrestling match, I have no clue, Joey G. But a beautiful arm drag by Eric Andretti, followed up by a second one. Taking control of this match quickly is Eric Andretti. And Mike, Big Mike, Eric Andretti, uh, one of the new trainers at the ECBW Wrestling School. And for you wrestling fans out there who would love to get into the world of professional wrestling, either as a wrestler, manager, announcer, or referee, and go to the wrestling school, give us a call at 973-402-9599. Or go on that website, ecbw1.com. Check out what all the buzz is about on ecpw1.com. You could see upcoming ECPW live events when ECPW comes to your area. You can get DVDs. And of course, just like my broadcast DVDs? Be underwear? No, DVDs. Oh, DVDs. I'm sorry. I'm a little out of two, hearing. Two time. Ds, as, as in Dominican Diablo we I, saw last I week. I got you. <laughs> In the corner goes Eric Andretti. Goes in for a quick cover. Gets a two count on ECPW's residential vampire. Joey G, a little known fact about Timothy Plasma. He may be a, a vampire, but I heard he's also one heck of an artist. Really? Yeah. Pretty talented. You, you've seen some of his drawings? I've or seen some of his work. And he goes in for the cover. Referee Scott Volks is two only. Well, I'd, I would love to see some, some of his artwork. It's probably very gothic, I would imagine. Yeah, to say the least. We have a tag team match coming up after this one. 
with the uh, German menace Stag and Dan Marquez, and I uh, guess who's with them? You'll well, of course, Lance Prophet. Good old Chubsy Ubsy himself. Yep. We'll make his way down the ringside with the foreign exchange. And, uh, you know, we've been waiting quite a while for this one. Their opponents, ECPW fans, Team West Virginia, who have now become fan favorites, Joey G here at ECPW, Justin Blackwell and General Bobby Lee Walker. Well, they are fan favorites, and... Um, the fans, the fans throughout the whole Northeast have taken to the boys from West Virginia. Joey G might remember some weeks, a couple months now, when the foreign exchange had that stare down with Team West Virginia. And we've been waiting for this tag team match ever since. And that's coming up next. But right now we got Eric Andretti against Timothy Plasma, one half of the tag team champions. Oh, and he rakes the eyes of Andretti. Swinging neck breaker. Andretti might have a fang in his head, I'm not sure. Gets that left arm and shoulder up, two count only. You know, Mike, nothing to take away from this match and the next one, but I just can't wait for the main event. No disqualification, no holes barred. Doug DeVito said it himself, it's not going to be a wrestling match, it's going to be a fight for the ownership of ECPW. Continuous chokes here by Timothy Plasma. And... Nice leg drop by one half of the tag team champions. And wrestling fans, ECBW returns to the Elk Lodge on July 20th in Paramus, New Jersey for another TV taping. But what's Timothy Plasma doing? Does Kook just put his cape on? Is, is, is he a vampire Superman? Is, <laughs> Timothy Plasma wants to fly here. Super vamp. He's Look. tripped up. Well, he lost his balance on that top rope. I think his cape weighed him down a little bit. If he weighed in at 166 pints of blood, I'm sure that cape weighs at least two pints. Well, I think he was stepping on his cape and trying to jump off at the same time. It wasn't working. Nice suplex by Eric Andretti. A thing of beauty. Not, not good enough. And you know what? A few fans who want to be part of the action and become a wrestler, that's what Andretti will teach you how to wrestle like he does. I don't think you could see it from your vantage point, Joey G, but I think Plasma was, was biting Eric Andretti right before he delivers that bulldog. And, and again, I just want to get back to the training school. You got head trainer, Gino Caruso, assistant trainers, Damian Adams and Eric Andretti. And you know what, Mike? It doesn't get better that, than that if you want to learn the in, ins and outs of the wrestling business. Absolutely. Don't subject yourself to backyard wrestling. If you think you can do it on your, your own, you're wrong. Come to a credible wrestling training school like ECPW. And right now, Eric Andretti pushes off the vampire. Oh, beautiful belly-to-belly -belly suplex. This could be it, and it's it over. is, Joey G. Eric Andretti, a proverbial suplex machine in this match, Joey G, and I like it. Crowbar is not going to be too happy about this, Joey G. His tag team championship partner just got pinned right in the middle of the ring. Well, you know, and, and I think uh, several weeks ago we saw Timothy Plasma lose. He seems to have a problem when the crowbar is not around. And I think he has more problems than that. But we'll talk about that in just a minute, ECPW fans. Coming up next, a huge tag team match, the foreign exchange against Team West Virginia.
Joey G, some menacing music, if you pardon the pun. Well, they always come out the menacing music, don't they? And Craig Stagg with the German flag, and Dan Marquez with the Portuguese flag, and uh, whoa, Lance Prophet with uh, a reasonably nice blazer. It just yeah. needs a ironing, I think. <laughs> well, you know what? You, you could get some decent clothes at the Salvation Army if you look hard enough. He yelled at me a few weeks ago for making fun of his wardrobe. Virginia, maybe tonight we can call them Team America. They're Look proud, here. proud country folk. Look at that beautiful American flag brought out by Justin Blackwell, Joey G. Hello, Joey G. The good general, how are you, sir? Two good old country boys who definitely respect the United States of America and what it's given them. And you gotta like that. Oh, and Lance Prophet, I was gonna say, quickly getting out of the ring, but that ain't gonna happen quickly. No. Yes, sir! Has Lance Prophet done anything quickly in his life? <laughs> yeah, get to a buffet table. Oh, there you go. You've been here four hour, you leave now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Joey G, what, what does General Bobby Lee Walker call his banjo? I think he just referred to it. He, does it have a name? I, I may be mistaken, I thought I heard him say Linda Lou. Well, you know what, Mike, there's another action item for you. <laughs> I'm, I got my work cut out of <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of investigating reporting to do. And chance of USA well, filling the Paramus well, Elks know, Lodge here. Last prophet is closing his in. What country is he from? He's so big, I think he has his own country. <laughs> The guy's in two zip codes right now. At least. Well, oh, speaking of being in two zip codes, take a look at Justin Blackwell. The size of it, but that's a man. There's muscle there. That's right. He knows what to do with it. He, he has the talent and uh, he has athleticism, Joey G. He can definitely get that big body moving. And right now, General Bobby Lee Walker moving that hammerlock into a side headlock on the Portuguese powerhouse. Oh. And the Portuguese powerhouse drops a nice elbow on him. Sets up General Bobby Lee Walker for something else. Oh, he misses that second elbow. The good general out just in the nick of time. Marquez makes the tag to the big German menace. Oh, and he stops that single leg trip and just throws the good general right into the corner. Bobby Lee Walker too quick for the German menace this time's around. Tags in Justin Blackwell. How do you like this matchup, ECPW fans? The big, muscular, burly German menace against a huge Justin Blackwell. I'd love to see this one-on-one -on -one matchup. But right now we're getting them in tag team action as Justin Blackwell deliver, delivers an elbow. I'm sorry I don't leave you, Mike, but the, the smell of the pizza was killing me. I had to go get me a slice. I brought you one, too. And I hate to make Italian jokes, but speaking of pizza, up next, Joey G. <laughs> That's it. 
That's and they, it. They can bring all the pizza trays they want. Katie, bar the door. No disqualification. No rules for the ownership of ECPW. Well, this one's going to be all over the place. You know that. Doug DeVito against Mr. Inley, Gino Caruso. <laughs> As Dan Marquez takes a huge splash. And the finger poke of doom by Justin Blackwell <laughs> takes Dan Marquez off his feet. After, you, after that tremendous splash. But Mike, you know one thing, or maybe two things, and those two things are Crazy Ivan and the Peacemaker. You know DeVito's gonna probably have them in his corner. Yeah, you notice DeVito, when he made the stipulation last week for no holds barred, no disqualification, he didn't have his men barred from ringside. He didn't say that. No. And look at the legs on the German menace. I mean, I heard he does squats with well over 300 pounds. I heard he does squats with telephone poles. <laughs> Imported from Germany, of course. Joey G, I don't know if you picked it up, but the German menace taking a page out of the vet, a veteran of this business, Arn Anderson, as we see a double clothesline. But when the German menace delivered that body slam to Walker, he hooked that arm behind his back before he slammed him. I noticed that. Very smart. I noticed that. And you think that's uh, that's because of the uh, the tutorship of Lance Crawford? No, I don't think so. I think that's because of his continuous trainings in Germany. You think Lance Prophet could tutor him on the best buffet or a restaurant? Yes. And Stag, look at him. Hasn't visited too many buffets. Unlike his manager, Dan Marquez. Marquez going to work on Bobby Lee Walker. And the uh, had the attention of referee Scott Volk. And look at Lance Prophet pleading innocence. Joey G, a chant I thought I'd never hear in the Paramus. West Elsewhere. Virginia. West Virginia. It's amazing, Joey G. Well, as I said once before, you know, when the, the boys from West Virginia first came to wrestle up here in the Northeast, you know, some of the fans did berate them and make fun of them. So, but now it looks like everybody's on the same page. Absolutely are. Dan Marquez after, oh, and he does it a second time. The German menace holding up his boot. Oh, and the good general's head goes right into that German boot of Craig Stagg. Walker's got to get a tag here and get it quick. He's got to get the big man in here quick. Just out of the nick of time is General Bobby Lee Walker. He's got to go for that tag. And he it. does. Tags the big man in. Stag taxi in Marquez. Oh, the big man going to work on both of them. A buffet of clotheslines served up by Justin Blackwell, Joey G. Oh, and a boot. Boot right to the chops. And a body slam, and there goes Marquez almost through the mat. I bet that boot didn't taste like wiener schnitzel, that's for sure. Oh, boy, the big guy going to work on Marquez right now. He, is he trying for the pin, or is he going to try and break him into it? No, nah, bad move. I think he should have stayed in there and did a little more damage. I thought he was going to go up on the second rope for a second. Well, I guess Bobby Lee well, is. Bobby Lee Walker is, but look out, Lance Prophet! That dirty, no good, fat SOB. It is cheating, son. In case we didn't know it, uh -oh. Fans bring him to our attention. Oh, get him. Get him, Blackwell. Go get him, Blackwell. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Joey G, breaking news at ECPW. Lance Prophet just ran. <laughs> he ran out of the building. 
great to see, but you got two against one right oh, here now. Oh, look, the German claw combined with the slam of Marquez. Oh, oh they took full advantage of Justin Blackwell leaving the arena. Prophet, say what you want about him, but he he did his job. He got the distraction of Justin Blackwell, left the good general Bobby Lee Walker in there on his yeah. own. Yeah, but it almost cost him a heart attack running out of the arena. Yeah, I felt Bob, the earth move under my hurt. feet, and that's not just a song. Security helping him. We might need a second security guard over. No. General Bobby Lee Walker refuses help. He walks out by himself. He says, I'm a man. That fighting West Virginia spirit of General Bobby Lee Walker. You got to hand it to him. He don't know what happened to Blackwell. He doesn't no. know what happened. Right now he's looking for his partner. Well. Joey G. Up next, the big one for ownership of ECPW. No holds barred, no disqualification. Doug DeVito against Gino Caruso. Oh. He's been shopping at the same prison that Crazy Ivan shops at. Great. He woke me up, I was falling asleep. But they, they come into the same music, the same siren. Does DeVito visit Crazy Ivan in jail, in prison? Where's the same colors? Get out of the ring and stand on the top. you have Crazy Ivan And here he comes! The Not Ryan Roxbury. Thank goodness for that. As my good friend Gino Caruso, the could-be savior of ECPW, and hopefully Joey G, the future owner of this company, Mr. Idley. And the veto is gone. Both get men get ready for this street fight. Good luck, Mr. Idley. We need you. DeVito, this is it. You'll be gone after tonight. He said you're a two to me. You know what that means? That's a jackass in America. Atta boy. I'm getting my Italian lesson here this week on adrenaline. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Italy. Oh, this is this is gonna be. And referee Scott Ball Here it is. lets him know. Wait a second, where's DeVito going? Where's he oh, going? Come on. Where you going? Where you going? Is he wearing deodorant, Joey G? My goodness. Where you going? Where you going? Oh, that's my. Oh. Here we go, ECPW fans. Don't look for a wrestling match here. Look for a fight. And here we go. Oh, oh, oh. But DeVito, a fight you want, a fight you got. <laughs> Give it you to him, Lester it. Italy. <laughs> you gotta love it. Put the boots to him, Gino. Go get him, Gino. Only a two count by, by Gino Caruso. I didn't even know Doug DeVito knew how to kick out. Oh. Kick out, he might be thrown out after this match. Ownership on the line. Caruso wins. DeVito's gone. Yeah! Italian. 
I think Gino asked DeVito, how's your gavools? <laughs> if DeVito doesn't have any children, he never will. Uh-oh, Gino outside the ring. What is he going for? Gino taking advantage of this no disqualification stipulation, looking for something. Oh! <laughs> Gino, get a pizza tray, Gino! No, don't rip off the shirt, no! Choking him! We got oh, a fight at here at the Paramus Elks Lodge. It. That's it, no hold barred. <laughs> Joey T, I want to get a pizza tray. <laughs> Shot. I get a shot! I get a shot! Oh. Yeah! How's that? Yeah! That's for the weeks and months. Almost an entire year of abuse from our current general manager. Thank you, Gino Caruso. Oh boy, did I love doing that. I threw my first chop ever, Joey G. <laughs> oh, he's going to bring him to the fans. Look at this. A fan from the audience. She looks pretty tough, Joey G. No, oh, that was Jana. Ring announcer Jana. Oh! Joey G, I wouldn't want to meet her in a dark alley. My goodness. <laughs> she looks menacing. Oh, My man. God. Where'd she go? <laughs> Stay out of Gino. <laughs> Off the ropes goes. Oh, I don't Doug know. DeVito. <laughs> Mr. Edley having some fun in there. Goes in for the pin. I can't believe he kicked out again. <laughs> hook the leg, Gino. Hook the leg. Yeah, Gino, we know it's Thug DeVito, but hook a leg, win this match! You gotta win this match! Oh, to sleep a hold! Sleeper hold! Go to sleep! Sleeper's gotta go to Never Never Land! Shades of Adrian Adonis! Brutus the Bar! Oh, wait, here comes Crazy Ivan! No! And there's one for him! DeVito trying to stack the deck! But so far, Gino Caruso, and he got the sleeper out of again. again. And no. comes, look out, Gino, the peacemaker. And he goes out. Gino Caruso has control this match. He got the, the peacemaker. Gino needs the some help. Wait, Gino no. needs some help now. Referee, check his arm. Hurry up. Hurry up. It's three against one, or two and a half against no. one. No, not this. Right here comes Andrew Anderson to help. The reinforcer, double A. Now Gino Caruso has some backup. No, no. Andrew Anderson, what are you doing? No commissioner to go to either. Oh. Joey G. Wrestling fans, ECPW will never be the same again. Not tune in next. Me. Tune in next week.